Hello everyone, in this video we see the topic planning of public building. First of all we see types of public building. In a classification of building topic we already discussed about the types of a public building. Again we can see what are the types of a public building. First one is the educational building. Educational building is subdivided into schools, colleges, institutes and libraries. Next one is the health building. Health building is subdivided into hospitals, primary health center. Third one is office building. Office building is subdivided into bank, post office, commercial complex. Fourth one is the public residence. It's subdivided into hostels and boarding schools. Okay. First of all, see the planning of a public building depends upon what factors. First one is its functional objects and requirements. Second one, its component parts and their size. And third one, its location and neighborhood means its site selection and other things are important in a planning of a public building. Then the component parts according to the type of a building component parts may be changed and their sizes accordingly and its functional objects. Okay. There are the some common arrangements required in all types of a public buildings. First one is sanitary block. Second one is circulation. Third one is entrance or reception. Next one is parking space, garage and cycle stand space. Next one is watchman's room and public telephone. Those are the common arrangements which are required in a public building. Okay, first one we see the sanitary blocks. San uh, the units of sanitary blocks are bathroom, WC means water closure. Second, next one is urinals and passage. Okay, first of all, first we see bathroom. Uh, according to bathroom, the size for the bathroom is 1.2 meter by 2.1 meter or 1.5 meter by 2.4 meter or 1.9 meter by 2.7 meter according to the requirement we can change the dimension of a bathroom uh, from those of threes we can take any one as per our requirement next one is water closet the size for water closet is 0.9 meter by 1.2 meter 1 meter by 1.2 meter next one is the urinal 0.9 meter by 0.75 meter and passage between it is width of 0.9 by 1.5 meter okay next one is the circulation size adopted uh, unit of circulation is veranda for horizontal circulation we uh, use the veranda or a passage or corridor the width for veranda is 1.8 meter to 3.5 meter those are all the minimum size then the passage core uh, is 1 to 2.5 meter staircase is the vertical circulation used for vertical circulation width of staircase is 1.2 meter minimum rise 150 to 170 mm tread 300 to 325 mm landing 1 to 1 1.8 meter minimum and head room 1.8 meter minimum Floor height is 2.75 meter to 6 meter for a circulation purpose. Okay. The horizontal circulation is done by veranda and passage. Vertical circulation is done by staircase and a lift. Now we can see lift. Lift used in a low to medium class flat that is to carry 5 person. The lift speed is 0.5 meter per second. Door for lift is sliding door and method of control is automatic push button. You can observe those things in our daily routine life. Okay. So next one is the lift. Lift used in office building, hotels and high class flats to carry 10 to 20 persons. The door for lift is automatic type and method of control is automatic push button and the speed for the lift is number of floor up to 2 the height uh, speed is 0.5 meter per second uh, for number of floors 3 to 4 floors speed is 0.5 to 0.75 floor 5 to 6 floors speed is 0.75 to 1.5 meter per second for the floors 7 to 9 the speed is 1.5 to 
टू मीटर पर सेकेंड फॉर द नंबर ऑफ फ्लोर्स टेन टू ट्वेल्व स्पीड इज वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू मीटर पर सेकेंड ओवर अ ट्वेल्व फ्लोअर द स्पीड ऑफ अ लिफ्ट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव टू थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर देर इज अ नोट फॉर अ स्पीड एक्सीडिंग वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड गेयरलेस मशीन शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड ओके दिस इज अबाउट द लिफ्ट हैविंग फॉर अ ऑफिस बिल्डिंग और अदर देन द लिफ्ट यूज फॉर अ शॉप एंड डिपार्टमेंटल स्टोर लोड मीन्स द पर्सन कैरिंग कैपेसिटी इज ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेंटी पर्सन स्पीड इज टू 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 पॉइंट फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड डोर इज ऑटोमेटिक ओपनिंग एंड मेथड ऑफ कंट्रोल इज स्विच कंट्रोल और ऑटोमेटिक पोस्ट बटन ओके नेक्स्ट कॉमन अरेन्जमेंट रिक्वायर्ड इन अ पब्लिक बिल्डिंग इज एंट्रंस और अ रिसेप्शन द विथ ऑफ द एंट्रंस शूड नॉट बी लेस देन टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मीटर जनरल साइजेस आर थ्री बाय सिक्स मीटर थ्री पॉइंट फाइव बाय सेवन मीटर थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फाइव बाय एट मीटर फोर बाय फाइव मीटर फोर पॉइंट फाइव बाय सिक्स मीटर सिक्स बाय सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर एट बाय सेवन मीटर एंड एट बाय टेन मीटर फ्रॉम दोज size you can take uh, any kind of any size as per our or your requirement okay next arrangement is a parking space for a car the parking space or area required is 20 meters square per vehicle then for a scooter and a motorcycle uh, area required is 3 meters square per vehicle For a cycle, area required is one point two meter square per vehicle, and garage is three meter by four meter, three point three meter by four point two meter, and four meter by four point five meter. Okay, those are the parking space required. Then the watchman room. This is a small enclosure generally provided at the entrance gate. A minimum size of a watchman room is two meter by two meter. Larger size may be adopted as per the requirement. The next one is the public telephone. Public telephones are usually provided in the public building. A small booth of a size one meter by one meter may be installed in the entrance space. Okay. All those are the common requirements. for the public building now we can see the first type is the educational building educational building is a school building and library building okay the principle of planning for a school building is built up area of a school should not exceed 25% of the side area next one remaining 75 of a land is to be used for a sports field and a gardens and third one is the minimum mean height of any building should be 750 mm then the components of a schools are classrooms laboratories drawing hall library auditorium gymnasium administrative area and staff room and the play field and assembly area okay this is the simple line plan of a educational building you can see here there is the classrooms you can see over here this is the one a simple area open area for a play field or assembly then there is a staff room okay then office that is the administrative there is one so all there is a one auditorium also and uh, uh, you uh, boys toilet and girls toilet also there it means sanitary blocks are also available there it means the components which are required in a educational building or are included in that that's why we see the planning of a public building and this is the by using the public building a uh, planning of a public building you have to plan a line plan on a double line plan of a any kind of public building and this is the simple line pl plan of a education building okay next one this is the simple line plan of a school building here also classrooms are included okay toilet are included admin office are included then the admission account telephone operator also there playground also available there laboratories are also available there those all are the elements or a components included in the arrangement of a school okay 
then this is the line plan of a library here the reading area is available then the bookshelves reference bookshelves and all toilet block is available counter section is also available all those areas are available here and accordingly we can arrange by using the planning of a principles means uh, components their sizes we make a simple line plan of a library that is the educational building okay this is the first type of a public building that is the educational building we see the line plan of a educational building school building and a library then next one is the health building health building includes hospital and primary health center the units of hospitals are opt opd means outpatient department then entrance and a waiting space the size for that is one to two meters square per person then the operation area medicine area eye area i mean eye room uh, all those are the units and the size for that are each of three meter by four meter then emergency room is three meter by four meter dispensary room is size having four meter by five point five meter and sanitary block four by four five meter okay this is the simple plan of a hospital here you can see the general ward available there opd opd for surgery skin all those are included in this hospital line plan okay now this is the health service or a primary health center line plan here also the operation theater also available special rooms are there the wards are there doctor rooms office block and all those units are included in this accordingly we arrange the rooms and make a line plan of a health service okay then the next building type is office building type office building type include bank and post office okay bank those are the units included in a bank and those are the required size for that particular unit using this there are the so this is the sum uh, this is the simple plan of uh, this bank hostels this is the simple line plan of a hostel you can see in a hostel we require rooms are there and the mess is also there tv and magazine area also there admin office also there this is the sanitary block that is the wc and a bath and this is the open space required okay in this video we see the planning of a public building what are the types of a public building and they are subdivided in which type of a public building then we can see the some common arrangements required in a public building and this uh, accordingly this their sizes and their components and their units also and we can see the simple line plan of a, all types of a public building i hope everyone understand thank you